I would say in Solano, uh, Vallejo, California in particular, um, poverty looks like someone who goes to work every day, someone who works more than one job, maybe a full-time and a part-time job. You know, I um, was um, working poor for a majority of my life. Uh, I'm only 35, turning 36. And um, we faced real challenges, and we had to really work hard to make ends meet. Uh, I, at one point, had three jobs um, trying to get by. It's ridiculous to see how much people have to work, and they're not even given um, medical. If you're paying, if your rent goes up 5% a year, but your salary doesn't go up 5% a year, that's unattainable. There are very real challenges that we're experiencing in this community, everything from affordable housing to child care affordability to our public safety. Poverty looks like hopelessness. Um, it's uh, people being in situations that they feel that there's no way out of. And I think tonight people came together to hopefully start to begin the beginnings of the change of that. We have talent. In this room we have city council people, community leaders, city council people, future supervisors, future streamers, etc. And what we can do over the next several months and years is really chart a course that wealth isn't taken from this place, but wealth is spread. Well, part of what we want to see come out of this process is a very intentional focus by community leaders and our elected officials to make sure we're engaging the philanthropic, philanthropic community in making um, investments in our community to lift um, all folks. To have the opportunity to thrive and build generational wealth. As we move forward, let us remember that our strength lies in collaboration. Our diversity of perspective is our greatest asset. And by working together, we can create solutions that are inclusive as they are effective. We're helping to create legacies, um, which is something that we don't take for granted.